Hi guys, welcome to my channel on TD Made Easy. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to construct a triangle when you're given the base angles. If you are new on this channel, please click on the subscribe button. So the question says, construct a triangle giving the base angles 60 and 30 degrees and the perimeter 150 mm. So the first thing we are going to do is to draw line AB, which is equal to the perimeter given to us, and we'll construct 60 degrees at point A and 30 degrees at point B. So guys, bring out your drawing instruments and let's proceed into the construction. So let's draw a line that is equal to the given perimeter. So my perimeter is 150. My perimeter is 150. So let's see. Let's draw the line, 150. Let's draw the line 150 and name your points as point A and point B. Name your points as point A and point B. The next thing to do is to construct angle 60 degrees at point A. Bring out your compass to construct angle 60 degrees, center at point A, center at point A, construct angle 60 degrees at point A. Construct 60 degrees at point A, so just draw your arc to at point A and mark your 60 degree. So at point B, you are to, the question says you should construct another angle, which is angle 30 degrees. Before we can do that, we have to construct another 60 at point B, then we'll bisect it to get angle 30. If you're having any issue with this, you can check my other videos on construction of angles. So I'm going to do the same thing here, which is angle 60. Then I'll bisect my 60 to get angle 30. So this is angle 60 at point B. Now I need to bisect this angle. I need to bisect this angle to get angle 30, center here, and you place it at the second point, draw another arc to bisect the first arc. So you can now draw your lines at point A. Let the line go through, let it pass through the first arc. Let it pass through the first arc. And the second one will pass through angle 30. Angle 30. Okay. Right, so we have points A, point B. Now we can name the third point as point C. Let's name it point C. Name the third point as point C.
Right, so we can move to the next step. We can move to the next procedure, which is to bisect the base angles. Bisect the base angles. How do we bisect the base angles? So I'm going to show you quickly. I'm going to show you quickly how to bisect the base angle. So step two now. Bisect the base angles at A such that their bisectors will intersect at D. So just bring out your angle, your compass, center at the first point. Before you can bisect any angle, you must have two different points. So center at the first point, we want to bisect the point at angle 90, which is 60 degrees. So we want to bisect the first point, which is 60 degrees. You place your compass at the first point. Then you strike an arc. You strike an arc. Above, like this. One. Then you take your compass, place it on the second point. You strike another arc to cut the first one above. So I'll do the same at point B. I need to bisect the angle there. The given angle there is angle 30. I need to bisect it to get angle 15 degrees. So I'll strike an arc. Now take my compass to the second point. And I'll bisect, I'll draw an arc to bisect the first arc. So now I will have to draw my bisectors. The bisector, bisector is the line that goes through the center of the angle. So I want to draw my bisector. So for the first one, I'll pick my pencil and I will I'll draw the bisector to pass through point A and through the intersection of the arcs. Then the second bisector will pass through point B and also the intersection of the arcs. So the bisectors meet at point D. They meet at point D. So I will label this new point as my point D. I'll label this new point as point D. So this is my point D. Okay, I'll move on to the next stage, which is to draw parallel lines. I need to draw parallel lines in order to get my okay. Step three is to draw parallel lines G E. I'm going to draw line DE, which is going to be parallel to AC, and another line DF, which is going to be parallel to CB. So how do I do that? All I need, I can use my set square to do to achieve this. I'll place my set square at AC.
Okay, so just place it parallel to AC. All right, so once you place your set square parallel to AC this way, with your ruler by the side, of your set square, you can easily move your line. I want to show you how to place, how to place it. So when you are drawing it at home, you'll be able to place it well. So you fix your ruler by the side like this, then you can now freely with your hand fixed on, your hand fixed on your ruler, you move your set square to point D. Point D is the intersection of the two bisectors. So you now draw parallel line to AC. I'm going to draw it now. And I'll name it as, as I'm drawing, I'm going to outline because that is the required triangle. So I'm going to outline it. I'm going to outline it. So at point D, I'll draw my line. That's the first line, which is drawn in red. Then I'll also make my, I'll set my C square, my set square in such a way that it is parallel to C, B. Parallel to C, B. As you can see. Position it parallel to CB. Then I'll place my ruler at the base, at the base of the set square. just like this. So I can now freely move my set square to point D. You fix your hand on your ruler, then you move your set square freely to point D. Then from there, you can now draw a line. Okay. I can now name the new point, point E and F, point E. So this is point E, which is parallel to line A, C and F. F is parallel to line C, B. So I'll outline the last part. So this is how to draw a triangle when you are given the base angles and a perimeter.